Ingen Terzi just put out a podcast with John Brzezink yesterday, so make sure to go check that out if you haven't already. But in this podcast, Ingen asks John about his prediction for a lot of the upcoming East vs. West matchups. And of course, we have to get John to throw in his prediction on the Devon vs. Levon match. And there's a few things I found especially interesting about John's prediction. Let's take a look at the clip. Everybody said, oh, Levon was so dominant, dominant, but that match could have changed. So and that's going to be the match. It's not going to be how strong Levon is, side pressure or upper arm strength or elbow or... It's going to be his cupping ability. Can Devin's back pressure and pronation be stronger than Levon's cupping? If it is, Devin will win. If it's not, Levon's going to turn Devin's hand up right, and he has he has plenty of strength to beat him if, if that happens. So Levon is still probably going to be, unless proven wrong, he's got to be still a favorite. Like 55, 45 or something? Okay, 55, 45, sounds good. So I think almost everyone is giving Devin a slightly higher chance than he had last time. Even if you think it will be 6-0 Levon, you probably at least give Devin a few percentage points higher, as in he gets flash pinned slightly slower or something like that. But something that's kind of funny is that John goes ahead and calls Levon as the favorite for this match. And if you guys remember last time, John ended up saying that Devin was going to win. And what becomes apparent in this podcast is that just because John picked Devin to win last time doesn't mean he actually thought Devin would win. John doesn't have the greatest track record of picking matches, but it sounds like whenever he's predicting, he tends to just pick who he wants to win over who he would bet money on. And I think this is a completely fine way to go about it. It's not like there's any huge downside to predicting arm wrestling matches incorrectly, and it's a lot more fun to pick the guy you want to win, even if he's the huge underdog, just in case they end up winning. Now another thing I noticed John talking about is the style match. I've talked quite a bit about how this match will likely come down to Devon's back pressure and pronation versus Levon's cupping as the deciding factor of the match. But of course, there are many aspects to this fight and I also was wondering if I was just oversimplifying it by thinking of it in this way. Is there a chance that Levon does have that secret flop press after all? But it sounds to me like both John and Ingen are thinking of this match as that simple as well. At the end of the day, it comes down to Devon's role versus Levon's containment. This doesn't mean that they think none of the other pressures in the match will come into play, but that those other pressures likely will not be the determining factor of the match. John doesn't seem to give the time of day to the idea of Levon winning the match without his wrist. Whether that looks like a flat press or a Todd roll, I didn't even hear John address it as a possibility. So it sounds like he thinks that if the wrist goes back at all throughout this match, it's totally over. And in the end, John does end up considering Levon to be the slight favorite when Egan asked if 55-45 is fair, John didn't sound super confident about this ratio. It sounded like he would be fine with considering it even a bit closer than this, maybe 53-47 or something like that. And one other thing that John talked about is how the more rounds that go by where Devin remains uninjured, the more Levon's chances decrease. So maybe if John knew ahead of time that Devin wouldn't get injured, he would increase his odds slightly. And that is one of the things that is so difficult about predicting this match. It's so difficult to know if Devin will stay healthy throughout the entirety of the match. On that note, Ingen did mention that Devin has got stem cells like 15 times at this point, so that probably ups his chances quite a bit of not getting injured, but the thing is, we still haven't seen Devin's King's move get ripped through by anyone this whole time. He has tested his bicep against people like Ermi's and Dennis, but it was only a maybe 90% test. This doesn't necessarily mean that Devin won't get injured if Levon rips through him all the way to the pad like last time. But overall, I think that John is in the same boat as most of us. Even if he does have a slight preference as to who wins, what he really cares about is just seeing the match play out to the fullest with no injuries and no excuses.